Well, members of a local community say they are shocked about a high school teacher's arrest. Deputies say the substitute teacher sent suggestive text messages to one of her students. 34-year-old Leela Wilford is the teacher facing charges. Arrested by sheriff's deputies last Friday, Wilford worked at Baker County High School. Now, the 16-year-old boy went to the principal, and that's when the sheriff's office got involved. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell is covering Baker County tonight. She joins us live with the latest on the investigation. Well, Kent, today marks just a week since Layla Wilford was brought here to the Baker County Sheriff's Office. It was last Friday, and she was booked and charged with obscene communication. Now, she was released the next day on a $15,000 bond. And when reading this police report, one of the first things I saw is that she told this 16-year-old student that she'd always wanted to know what it was like to kiss someone with braces. And he told investigators he was the only one in his class with braces. A teacher should be a person you can talk to and look up to, not someone that's supposed to be attracted to you. 13-year-old Ashley Carter says she's happy to be homeschooled after learning this Baker County High School substitute teacher was arrested for sending inappropriate texts and social media messages to one of her 16-year-old students. According to the police report, 34-year-old Layla Wilford was arrested last Friday after the student showed his principal the inappropriate text. The report says Wilford used the messenger app Keek and asked to see him with his shirt off, then later added, I want to have crazy mad sex with someone who can kiss. The report shows she also messaged the 16-year-old that her husband doesn't do it for her anymore and that she wanted her student to drive her far away so they could do crazy things like when she was his age and suggested drinking and smoking. Sheriff Joey Dobson says he doesn't believe Wilford had been with the school for long and these situations are hard to deal with. To be having to, to, to deal with something like this is, is uh, just a tragedy. And, and we do. We, we hate it because we know these people. Uh, we know the student uh, and we know the, the, the teacher and her family. The school district issued a statement that says, in part, Wilford passed the course required to be a substitute teacher. Just like everyone else, she was fingerprinted, drug tested, and had a background check, and she passed everything. It is very scary. You know, it's basically hard to trust people. The school district went on to say that Wilford will no longer be working for the Baker County School District and that the health and welfare of their students is, of course, their number one priority. Reporting live from the Baker County Sheriff's Office, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, The Local Station.